And so, Theodore Donald Karabatsos, in accordance with what we think your dying wishes might well have been, we commit your final mortal remains to the bosom of the Pacific Ocean, which you love so well. Good night, sweet prince. Okay, we have to find the funny, right? I mean, planning a funeral for a loved one can be an emotionally daunting task, especially when you're grieving, and there's nothing funny about that. But joining me to shed some light on a dark subject is the Doyen of Death. Ooh, but she doesn't look so, uh, you look very uh, very alive to me. And she's author of A Good Goodbye, Gail Rubin. Welcome to the show, great to have you. Great to be with you. And as I was saying off camera to you, I mean, this is a great book, this is a great opportunity because this is reality, and this is a reality. We were the only thing we know for sure that we're all going to face. Death and taxes. Exactly. <laughs> so I want to ask you, what compelled you to start writing and speaking about funeral planning? How, how did you get inspired to do I this? I actually originally wanted to write a book about weddings, births, and deaths, and call it Matchings, Hatchings, and Dispatchings. Oh, I like and that. And I did a column in the Tribune, and the columns on death got the most reader response, which wow. told me there's a real need for this information. Mm -hmm. People want to talk about it, but they don't want to talk about it. Exactly, it's almost <laughs> taboo, and yet it's, like I said, something we all have to deal with at some point or another. So I want to talk about a good goodbye and tell our viewers what it's all about. It is everything you never knew you needed to know about funerals before you need to know it. <laughs> Very well said. <laughs> okay, so, well, okay, so uh, why do people avoid this topic, though? Well, you know, we don't want to say goodbye to That's people we sure. love. We, we have the superstition that if we talk about it, it's going to happen I, sooner. I totally get that. And it's going to happen sooner or later. Mm -hmm. And better we should talk about it now mm -hmm. so that the family knows what the person would have wanted. That's a good point. And also, just like talking about sex won't make you pregnant, talking right. about funerals <laughs> won't make you dead. Very good point. And your Very family can benefit. They can save money, they can avoid stress at a time of grief, and they can create something really meaningful and memorable. So are you providing these tips in the book for yeah. people to kind of get through that process? Absolutely. Oh, that's so wonderful. I love to hear that because, <laughs> I mean, even myself, everything you're saying is exactly why I would avoid it. And, you know, what you're doing today is great because you're actually giving a free talk this afternoon. It's entitled Funny Films for a Start to Serious Funeral Planning Conversations. Yes. And what's going to happen is you're going to actually show a film as part of your discussion and your talk this afternoon. So what film are you showing? Well, I'm, I'm actually showing clips from a number of films, oh, including what we showed here at the Big Lebowski, yeah. that ash scattering scene. There's some lessons there to be learned, uh, as well as uh, films you've probably never heard of, Undertaking Betty, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, of course, uh -huh. uh, Over Her Dead Body, which starts out with a wedding, yes. talking about how weddings and funerals are very similar events, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know, if brides and grooms plan their weddings the way most people plan their funerals, they'd be pulling things together in three to five days. Well, yes, exactly. And you know, what's interesting is often we think about the wedding, but not what happens after the marriage. And I think that's something mm -hmm. to think about when planning a funeral how to cope after the fact as mm -hmm. well, not just in the moment. And so what's nice is that you're offering something to people to find that lightness, to find a way to make it bearable yes. because it is the reality. So I want to ask you, are you going to be doing any other funny film talks? Yes, I've got uh, other set up. Borellis uh, Senior Center, September 13th. Okay. North Valley Senior Center, October 5th. And okay. Manzano Mesa, November 3rd. Oh, perfect. So throughout the fall season, you yeah. will be talking. And yeah. I think this is a great opportunity. And I want to give people, before they even get to see you live in person, let's give everybody about five things that they should know now about all family members. Okay. Mother's maiden name. You know your own mother's maiden name. Do you know your spouse's or if you're in a, mm. you know, a partnership? Okay. You need that for the death certificate. Okay. Also social security number, also veterans information, mm. and where that person was born. The fifth right. thing isn't on a death certificate, but it's vital in this day and age, what? online passwords. If you die and take your passwords with you, you are in a heap of trouble. What a good point. All over. 
<laughs> what a good point. And you know, I actually know somebody who dealt with that. And it's it's really, it's mind boggling how important that actually is. So write that down and keep it someplace. Great, great information. And I know there's a lot more of it where that came from in A Good Goodbye. So where can we actually pick up a copy? Uh, in Albuquerque bookstores, page one, okay. Bookworks, and the Blue Eagle Metaphysical Emporium. Oh. And online at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and my website, agoodgoodbye.com. Oh, wow. So you can pretty much get it everywhere. It's everywhere. Oh, that's so good to know. And let's tell our viewers again where you're speaking this afternoon so they can come find you. This afternoon at 530, Bear Canyon Senior Center. Okay. And uh, it's an hour-long presentation. And all that information is right there on the screen for you. Write it down. And you can always call 505-291-6211 for more details. Gail, it is so nice to have you. Thank you for just sharing your humor and sharing something, you know, really light about such a heavy topic that I think everybody could use in their life. So Thanks thank for you. having me. Great to be here. Great to have you here. And good luck this afternoon. Head out and go check Gail out. She's great. And get the book, A Good Goodbye. And you don't want to say goodbye to us just yet because you can save a child's life by dialing one simple number. Stick around and we'll tell you what it is next.